Uh, Art Hong Kong opens up today to the public and is expected to attract about 60,000 visitors. Rosalind Chin looks at how the event is painting its way through Asia's art boom. Art Hong Kong is one of the city's biggest forums to buy and sell contemporary art, attracting both serious buyers and curious observers from all around Asia. The fair has successfully managed to ride a wave of global interest in contemporary art. The last 10 years, there's more and more collectors by looking at contemporary art. Even if they were collecting antiquities, they started to collect, started to look at contemporary art in a very different way. The appetite for contemporary art has seen a flurry of U.S. and European galleries opening in Hong Kong in the last couple of years, including the Gagosian and White Cube. One draw of doing business here, no taxes on importing or exporting art and no sales tax. And it's close to Asia's growing ranks of wealthy collectors. When the fair launched in 2008, there were 102 galleries here and they struggled to get overseas exhibitors. This year there's 266 galleries jostling for space and they're all shooting for the big ticket spender. There are more billionaires in, in Asia than in Europe now. As you say, our audience is really quite broad, so whilst China is a very important part of things for us, it's not by any means the whole story. We have very important collectors coming from Indonesia, from Southeast Asia and from as far as away, far afield as Australia. Uh, and Europe and the United States. But, of course, China is incredibly important to us, and there's, there's huge potential there for the future. China's demand for art is booming. Art auction revenue in China grew 49% last year. And in general, Asian collectors are spending more. Over 12% of works sold in the region go for between $100,000 and $1 million, according to art market data company ArtPrice. In the rest of the world, it's just 2.2%. Visitors to Hong Kong's art fair in 2013 are likely to see some changes, not least the branding. That's after last year's takeover by the well-established art fair franchise, Art Basel. Just another sign of Asia's growing clout in the art market. Rosalind Chin, Bloomberg, Hong Kong.